it is Tuesday, May 3rd, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Tuesday puzzle, so another fairly approachable theme today, most likely, although I see it has some circled cells, which is very exciting to me, as, as I, do, I do like that evidence of the theme in the grid. Anyway, this, um, this evidenced edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Skylar David Connell, and as always, the inestimable hood monster and the invaluable Timothy Mark. So thank you so much to the four of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign for directly supporting this channel and help making this series a sustainable part of my daily work. And thank you to everybody who has backed the Patreon campaign at any level. Um, I very much appreciate that. If you do become a benefactor like those first four people, you can get access to the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug, that coffee mug. You can see that at patreon.com slash daily solve. But of course, backing at any level gets you access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date and the new ones that go up each week. So, um, oh, and of course you can join the Daily Solve Discord chat server for free. Um, you get the extra channel if you're a Patreon subscriber and you could subscribe to this channel for free. And thank you for everybody who has done that. Um, it's really increased the pace recently. So thank you to our new subscribers and Long-time subscribers alike. All right, let's get on to the puzzle. It's a Tuesday puzzle, as I said, so it shouldn't be too difficult. It was constructed by Julian Lim, who's done a few dozen New York Times crosswords over the years, and it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's go. Lines at the cinema. I wonder if this means lines as in lines delivered in a script, maybe? The film script? I'm not really sure. I'm not sure if that's right. Coins that are 1.35 millimeters thick. Dimes? Not really sure. Go ahead. Tell me the answer. Latin phrase before a year. Anno Domini? Mix at a mixer, say. Well, it could be a drink mix. It could be mix, oh, mingle, I guess. I was going to say it could mean mingle. So mingle, something like that. All right, that, that, that makes these seem slightly more credible. So what about this? Yule blank, Christmas confection. A Yule log is a baked, it's a cake sort of thing. And like kiwis and plum tomatoes by shape. Um, they're obloid, right? They're sort of 3D oblongs. So obloid, I guess, would be what you'd call those. And astonished exclamations. Uh, it'll end with an S, I guess. An event first televised in 1953 with the... The... Um, oh, I don't know. This could be U.S. maybe, like U.S. Open or something like that. So then what would this be? Lines at the cinema. Oh, dialogue. There we go. So dialogue on the screen in the film. That makes sense. Astonished exclamations. Could be G's, as simple as that, I suppose. And what about this? Go ahead, tell me the answer. I give, maybe? So then I give up. I'm, I don't know. And this looks like Oh, blank prize, satirical scientific award since 1991. This is the Ig Nobel Prize. So the Ig Nobel, Ig Nobel Prize. It's a play on the Nobel Prize, but it's given to, I think it's sort of pointless inventions, perhaps, that sort of thing. I'm not 100% certain if, I believe that's, that's effectively what it is. All right, SUV alternative. So sports utility vehicle alternative could be a sedan, another another type of passenger vehicle. And then, hmm, I'm still not sure about this. Obl hmm, what are they by shape? What is that? How is that shape described? Couldn't have said it any better. Amen. Echo someone's. Oh, I really looked at this, by the way, Ming. Um... Chinese dynasty? Is it anything else? Um, yeah, I guess we'll have to see. 
pinnacle could be the acme, the highest point, and terrific in slang. Aces with that A? Ooh. With 43, so here's our revealer, it, it seems. With 43 across, historical period found in each set of circled letters. Sorry, so which one are we looking at? We're looking at... Oh, sorry, I was reading 39 across. I always mix this up because I because I read over on the right side rather than above the, the grid. Okay, so, so 36 down actually says, with 52 down, 39 across leader from 1949 to 1976. Well, this looks like Chinese. And then we would have Qin, which is another dynasty. So... I'm getting so confused with which of these is referring to what thing. Sorry, I'm sort of losing it here. So long, long time would be an eon and fit perfectly. Um, oh, why don't I know what that is? Fit perfectly. It will. Uh, I'm not sure. Singer James could be Etta James, the great jazz singer. And in the near future would be soon. Greek vowel could be eta. And so we have eta and eta. And to add up to something is to total it. Good going. I'm not sure. Oh, oh, something to a T. It, uh, if it fit perfectly, it... Why don't I see what this is? Strange. Uh, fled would be ran from the scene, for instance. Class with angles, for short. It could be trigonometry. Oh, suit to a T. I was, I, for some reason, I was completely incorrectly thinking this was fit in the past. But of course, it's the same word to mean fit in the present, to suit to a T, to fit to a T. All right. And then we have, so, I'm sorry, which was this, was it, which was this again? Uh, I'll just look above the crossword and solve this problem for myself. With 52 across, 39 across leader from 1949 to 1976. Ah, okay. So it's uh, Xuanlei. Okay. So so it was saying um, Chinese leader from 1949 to 1976. And then cube root of of 1,000 would be 10 because 10 cubed is a thousand. And then if one is suspicious of something, one is leery of it, and that of, in parentheses there, means we're going to be applying it both to the clue and the answer. So suspicious would mean leery, but also suspicious of would mean leery of, and it just helps us get a slightly tighter match. Good going. Uh, Still not sure about that. Feature of a deer stalker. So that's a type of cap you have those sort of ear laps on a on a deer stalker cap is that what this wants breakfast brand could be ego that's a brand of frozen waffle and green dispensers atms they just dis, they dispense uh greenbacks that money uh, which in american slang would be greenbacks and money is often referred to as green okay well, I mean, <laughs> because of the color, but I mean, that's it's used in a, in a slang way unto itself. Anyway, snags could be snarls, perhaps. And humble response to how do you do it? Um, well, this could be I'm or I, and then something starting with M. I'm not sure which. What about this? Batman or Harry Potter EG? Um... Actually, not sure. I don't really know what this wants. What about this? Basis for some vaccines, RNA vaccines, as we all know these days. Uh, Surviving, but just barely. Oh, hanging by a thread. Um, Ah, so the Han Dynasty. There we go. Yes, Han, Han, the um, uh, most uh, common ethnic group in China, the Han. Okay, so good going would be at a boy. And sight of a fabled gift horse, Troy, of course, the most um, Trojan horse, the famous horse. And neither's partners, neither nor. A 
and opposite of for here could be to go or take away, as we would say here in the UK. And then opening with leaks. Um, oh, WikiLeaks. <laughs> All right, WikiLeaks. So opening is often used in the crossword to refer to a prefix, something that could come before the word in question. So wiki could prefix the word leaks to make WikiLeaks, the site, the, um, um, what would you call that? The sort of crowdsourced journalism site, I suppose. And then I'm glad that's over. Whew, you might say. Uh, that's how I felt after finally getting that Sunday puzzle complete after all those technical issues. Jafar's parrot in Aladdin is Iago, I believe. And unbelievable could be wow. So we have whew and wow crossing one another. To have, memori to some have something memorized is to know it. And a braggart has a big ego. So that that all works. So we've sort of we've sort of painted a curved diagonal swath through this puzzle here. Um, what else can we inspect that we've not seen? Oh, we have seen. Oh, Batman and her, oh, are they both orphans? Is that what this is? That must be right. And then humble response to how do you do it? I'm boy, I just still don't see what it is. I'm a something or I'm an something. <laughs> A tributary of the Missouri River. I'm not sure offhand. Unclothed figures would be nudes, straightforward at least. So, ah, oh, this is so irritating. Baton Rouge School, Louisiana State University, maybe? Baton Rouge is in Louisiana, right? I'm pretty certain that's true. And Intel Gathering Mission would be recon, reconnaissance. And what about this? This looks like clear. Needed further explanation. It whoops. I don't know where, where that came from. It wasn't clear. There we have it. Oh. What? Humble response to how do you do it? I'm an ace? What am I not seeing here? Uh, oh, I manage. Sorry. So this looks like Osage. Oh, okay. Osage River. And then snags is snares. Uh, so two different meanings of snags, really, because uh, this means snags as in to grab or catch or trap something. Whereas I was using snags, meaning snags in a rope, say, or snarls, if you see what I mean. So um, I think both valid fills, but I, I, I jumped to the wrong one first, and that really confused me with this Osage here. Okay. The first of... O dot O dot O. What? I don't know. Is this a sort of a baseball thing? Is it out? I don't know what this is. Uh, feverish symptom. Ague. I guess it is out. Oh, out of office. Maybe this is. I see. It's just a common workplace uh, initialism. So bearded beasts are news. Gnus? Not sure. <laughs> And Shakespearean words to a traitor would be et tu, et tu, Brute, said Caesar. Most likely didn't actually say that. Invented by Shakespeare, but a pretty good line. Uh, one day at a time. And howls at the moon would be bays, so um, wolves could bay, bay at the moon, howl at the moon. Metaphor for lies in a Walter Scott poem. A spider's web? Uh, that doesn't look right with the with the uh, d dynasty, unless it's one I'm not familiar with. What about this? C39 across. Oh, we didn't finish this one? With 43 across, historical period found... Oh, oh, it must be Chinese dynasty. Oh, so I, oh, I spelled it too wrong. Whoops. Oh, good. I'm glad. Lucky me, actually, that there was a cross here that revealed that. Um... Or that I hadn't already put something in. All right. Divine father would be God, I suppose. And partner, an ally. Partner is an ally. Smells like teen spirit. And took without asking would be stole. Um, tang? I mean, Tang is a dynasty. Oh, and that works with, with Tangled Web. Okay, there we go. Oh, what a, wang, tang, oh, what a Tangled Web we weave. That must be. And then... Gobbled up would be eight, food, and blank Richards, a.k.a. Mr. Fantastic. Um, 
trying to find names that would fit here. Not sure. Okay, above board would be legit or legal. Many California wines. Syrahs, maybe? I'm not actually sure. Mingle, mix out a mixer, say, is mingle. I don't know. This doesn't look great. Event first, hmm, above board. Is it not legit? Could be licit, actually, as opposed to illicit. Does that help at all? I don't know. Oh, hmm. Oh, I never looked at this before. Textures, can you believe it? OMG, that makes oblong. Oh, so what did I say originally? Obloid? But I said that was based on oblong? Maybe <laughs> I was wrong. It was just oblong to begin with, I suppose. Oh, the Oscars must have been first televised in 1953. Okay. There we go. Boy, I just, yeah, I sort of drew a blank on this whole thing around here for some reason. So many California... Oh, Napa's, I see. So um, Napa Valley is a region north of San Francisco that's uh, a famous wine-growing region in California. Hobby Brew is an IPA. I think this maybe came up yesterday, actually. Um, IPA is an India Pale Ale, a beer brewed with uh, qu quite a high proportion of hops. It's very bitter. And competition participant would be an entrant. Okay, this is all coming together finally. Homer Simpson signature cries. Homer Simpson shouts, do. And trim as text would be to edit the text. Oh, and here's another <laughs> O of O, 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 except these O's are separated by dashes rather than, uh, than dots. And so this would be tic-tac-toe. Um, or knots and crosses. And then seaweed around sushi would be nori. And vexation would be ire. So mingle in the crowd? Mix it a mixer? Is that mingle in the crowd? I don't know that I've heard it said that precisely that way, but that would make this read Richards, I guess. And then crowd. Is that like a boxer's name, I bet? And then gazillions would be a ton. Not safe for work, probably. Oh, lewd. It could be lewd. It could be not safe for work. <laughs> not so, yeah. Sorry, there was something that happened with a parliamentarian here in the UK that it's reminded me of just in the last week. Anyway, finishes would be ends and oolong would be tea. And what a winner takes is said, the winner takes it all, they say. And young chaps are lads. And there we go. So there we go. Very, very different puzzle to yesterday's. Um, Although, for the most part, you could still basically solve this, I think. Well, no, you'd need, you'd need to understand what's in the circles in order to get China, in order to properly solve Chinese dynasty. Um, but everything else you could simply fill, because even Xu uh, Anlei is, um, I'm sorry about my probably quite poor pronunciation, um, even that only references Chinese specifically, which is part of a normal... Oh, no, no, actually, technically speaking, to solve Chinese dynasty, right, you would need, right, you would need to understand that these are Chinese dynasties. And technically, you would need that to understand the leader. But, but you could, you could get a fair amount of it, I think, just by, um, by implication. Anyway, so we had the Ming dynasty, the Tang dynasty, the Qin dynasty, the Sui dynasty, I don't actually know that I was familiar with this one. And the Han dynasty, those are all Chinese dynasties. And, um, and it's a very uh, it's a very nice theme woven into this puzzle in a way that is pretty approachable because you could get all of these dynasties as I did here without necessarily even knowing it um, just by solving the regular clues and then um, and then I think it's pretty easy to infer these are Chinese dynasties for the purpose of this clue this answer here so yes a very nice I think a very nice puzzle from Julian Lim maybe I don't know I guess it's probably fairly well pitched in difficulty for a Tuesday puzzle, maybe a hair more difficult, but it's so hard to say. Those distinctions are very fine. Um, but I enjoyed it. I hope you did as well. And let's, let's discuss a few clues. Actually, I may only have had a single comment from yesterday's puzzle. So I don't think I, <laughs> I don't think I said too many embarrassingly incorrect things yesterday, at least based on the volume of, of correction. Oh, although, to be fair, <laughs> this one thing, Ben Ward had two comments to point out. So, um, 
Okay. So let's see. From Ben Ward, we had, you misread 31 across a couple of times as movement rather than monument. Yes, that's true. I actually realized that right after finishing the puzzle, uh, but it was too late to correct at that point because it was it was over. Anyway, Bear's Ears, which I call the movement, is a national monument, which was established by President Obama in 2016, reduced by about 85% by President Trump in 2017, then restored by President Biden in 2021. Uh, so sorry about that. Yep, that was just a strange... I, I think because there was some sort of movement, political movement or something elsewhere nearby in the grid, or maybe even crossed it. Um, so it was just in my mind. Yeah, a silly mistake. Anyway, uh, you got 63A with crosses and didn't go back to it. And now this I didn't notice at all. Uh, Darla, apparently, is a character from the 1994 movie Little Rascals, to whom Alfalfa writes a love note. The clue is slightly incorrect, I think as Alfalfa claimed to his fellow members of the He-Man Woman Haters Club that the letter read, I hate your stinking guts, you make me vomit, you are scum between my toes, while actually writing, I can't live without you. Really, I'm not kidding. So there we go. Yes, I completely missed Darla in the grid. Sorry about that. And thank you for the two corrections. And that does bring this video to a close, I believe. So thank you so much for joining me today on this Tuesday edition of The Daily Solve. I'll be back tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle, which is uh, maybe a bit of a step up in difficulty from our Monday and Tuesday. So I hope you join me for uh, for that. And uh, do subscribe if you've not yet done so. All right, with that, I'll hopefully see you tomorrow. But until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Tuesday. Take care.